we don't have enough DCS employees. If you haven't heard that, I'm telling you, it's, it's near collapse. An urgent warning from a juvenile court judge in Knox County. He told the legislative committee the Department of Children's Services is near collapse. There are not enough caseworkers to care for the kids. Good evening, I'm Vicki Yates. And I'm Rory Johnston. Yeah, a months long News Channel 5 investigation details exactly what the judge is talking about. We take a rare look behind the scenes at DCS to reveal how the department failed a mother and her 10 children. Investigative reporter Ben Hall has worked tirelessly on this case. And Ben, you discovered that DCS had been alerted 35 different times about these kids. Well, that's right, Vicki. And despite all of those referrals, the kids did not get the services they desperately needed. She was in court this summer, facing nine counts of child neglect involving her 10 kids. Back in Our investigation found Jacqueline Mangrum's current charges came after years in which she was repeatedly investigated by the Department of Children's Services and Metro Police. I think the crux of the issue is that we have a woman who is in dire need of rehabilitation and rehab. Mangrum's defense attorney referenced her history of drug addiction and mental health issues. But despite 35 investigations by DCS dating back to 2004, Mangrum managed to keep custody of her kids year after year. This is Jacqueline Mangrum and her children. She's currently charged with child abuse and child endangerment. Mangrum has been in jail since February when she defied a court order and took her five youngest kids from a family member. In regards to Miss Mangrum, police found her and her kids shortly after the alert but it was just the latest in a long history of problems. In June of last year, police found four of Mangrum's children near a dumpster on Murfreesboro Pike. According to court documents, the children were without shoes, food, and water. The youngest, a three-year-old, had walked through broken glass and her feet were bleeding. Police went to their apartment and found the door was open. It was absolutely filthy. The kids were taken by ambulance to Children's Hospital, where they were placed into a glass quarantine due to lice infestation. Police called the Department of Children's Services. But one month later, officers found four of Mangrum's children in this parking lot after getting a call for a child being beaten and choked. Police reported the children were filthy. They had rotting teeth. Their clothes looked way too small. They did not have car seats or shoes. According to court documents, DCS came and the kids went home with a grandparent. The system failed these kids. It did not take care of these kids. Former state representative Sherry Jones fought to reform DCS during her 24 years in the legislature. She was disgusted that DCS kept being alerted to problems with the kids, but caseworkers didn't get them help that they needed. They weren't moved to a better place. They weren't given any services. They were always out on the street. They never had anything. DCS investigations are confidential, but according to court testimony, Mangrum has been involved in more than 150 police investigations. We looked at police records and reviewed court testimony to put together how often DCS was contacted and how little the department did. That's the first DCS investigation. Prosecutors revealed in court Mangrum's first DCS investigation was when she tested positive for cocaine when a child was born. On July 7, 2004, she gave birth to a child and she tested positive for drugs. Mangrum later took the stand and confirmed DCS never found reasons to remove her kids, despite the 35 DCS investigations. Every case I ever had was closed. <laughs> They never had reasons to take my children from me. Another warning sign came in 2013 when officers responded to Old Hickory Boulevard. Mangrum's one and two year olds were crossing the busy street alone in diapers. Mangrum told police she had just fallen asleep and they had wandered off. Once again, police called DCS. Police reports show multiple DCS investigations followed, including allegations of sexual abuse, and drug abuse. DCS was called in April of 2020 because Mangrum and five of her kids were living in this camper beside the home of a family friend. There were concerns Mangrum had abandoned her kids. But it doesn't appear DCS did anything because this Hendersonville police report five months later stated the kids were staying in the camper by themselves 
and were not registered for school. An officer described the kids as unclean, wearing dirty clothes, looked skinny, possibly malnourished. A truancy officer said they all appeared to have lice. It's just appalling. Sherry Jones said too often overworked DCS caseworkers put neglected kids with family members who are also struggling instead of making sure they get the services they need. They want to put them with a family member because they don't have to pay any money. In October of last year, this Rutherford County Sheriff's Department report shows Mangrum's kids were living with their grandmother, who was in need of help herself. The report states the grandmother wanted DCS to pick the kids up because she was not able to care for them anymore due to sickness. She said there was an open DCS case, but she had not heard from them. She told deputies Mangrum was threatening her if she did not keep the kids. If you're going to take care of kids, take care of them. Don't pawn them off on family who cannot afford them themselves and not help them. DCS would not comment on Mangrum's case, but said whenever possible, DCS tries to divert a child from coming into state custody. Sometimes a parent may agree to place a child with a relative who is willing to care for the child on an unpaid basis. That's what appeared to happen with Mangrum's kids over and over again. Finally, late last year, Judge Mark Fishburne barred Mangrum from being around her kids while she was out on bond, waiting for trial on child neglect charges. And what did she do? She intentionally disregarded that order. But in court, prosecutors detailed what happened when Mangrum ignored that order and got her kids. In December 2021, Mangrum had her four youngest kids with her at this motel. They were in the same room as a man Metro Police suspected of murder. When police arrested the man, officers noticed one of the kids may have been sexually assaulted. There was a, a sexual assault allegation at that point involving a bite to one of those children's vagina. DCS was again called to the motel and again sent the kids home with the grandmother. No sexual assault charges have been filed. Everybody that worked on that case ought to be ashamed of themselves. Sherry Jones says the whole thing is yet another wake-up call that too many kids are falling through the cracks. This is one case. These are a lot of kids that have been affected, but this kind of stuff happens with DCS constantly. Now, this is a lot to take uh, in, it but is. many hope shedding light on this case will change how the department operates. You know, we're watching this and just shaking our heads as, a, you know, this case moved along. Where is the mom now? Do we know? Mom is in jail for at least a year. Okay. She pleaded guilty to uh, child neglect, so her youngest kids are now getting some services. Uh, but we'll keep following this. This These is unacceptable, do. just yeah. unacceptable. Well, you can read more on Ben's investigation into DCS online at newschannel5.com.